In this video, I want to look at the best data sources that you can now access, many of them for free. I'm Bernard Ma, and I help companies understand current and future trends in business and technology so they can turn them into improved performance and profitability. For more, subscribe to my YouTube channel and my podcast, check out the articles on my website and have a look at my latest books, Tech Trends in Practice, Business Trends in Practice and Future Skills. Data has become one of the most important business assets of today's most successful companies. And today's most powerful technology, artificial intelligence, relies on data. Luckily, data is abundant and readily available online. And there are numerous data sources, many of them completely free. There are actually really important data search engines and repositories you should be aware of. The first one is Google Dataset Search. This is actually a search engine for data sets catalogued by Google. Use this to find data on just about anything you could need. Similarly, there's AWS Open Data Search, another dataset search engine. This one was provided, is provided by Amazon's AWS service. Then there's Microsoft Research Open Data, a free open data set collected by Microsoft, which is focused on a scientific data set. UCI Machine Learning Repository. This is a repository of more than 600 open datasets curated and maintained by the University of California, Irvine, and made available for the purpose of training machine learning algorithms. And then we have Kaggle Dataset. The online data science platform Kaggle offers a curated catalog of, of data sets covering everything from university rankings to trending Google searches, retail sales, online movie reviews and crime statistics. And there's Reddit R data sets. This is a vast collection of data sets submitted by users of the online community site Reddit, covering literally hundreds of subjects. Beyond these data search engines, there are government and intergovernmental organization data sets that we can access. For start, have a look at data.gov. This is an open data portal provided by the US government, hosting nearly a quarter of a million data sets published by all government agencies. There's also data.census.gov. This is specifically useful if you're looking for demographic data for the US. Data.eu is the European Union open data portal containing data from EU organization and member state governmental data. And we have data.gov.uk. This is the open data set published by UK government agencies. Beyond this, we have the World Health Organization data. These are data sets related to global health and well-being and the World Bank open data. Um, this is a data set that relates to economic development, international financial markets, social indicators and environmental issues. If you are after image data, have a look at Google Open Images. Here you can find millions of images classified and labeled in various ways, suitable for training many different types of computer vision algorithms. And you have ImageNet Open Dataset, another dataset consisting of labeled images that's free to use for non-commercial machine learning algorithms. And then we have the COCO dataset, which stands for Common Objects in Context. This is a dataset that consists of over 200 images that are selected for training, object detection and captioning algorithms. If you're after sound data, check out Mozilla Common Voice, an open dataset of voice recordings that can be used to train any AI application that involves speech. 
There's also audio set, another Google curated data set. This one focuses on sound and contains hundreds of thousands of 10 second samples broken down into categories, including musical instruments, vehicles and vocals. And then there's the million sound data set. These are samples and metadata from one million contemporary popular music tracks. If you're after text data, check out Wikidata. This is a, a database download of Wikipedia articles in a number of different formats. And you have Common Crawl. This is an open repository of data scraped from the World Wide Web and famously used to train the GPT large language models powering ChatGPT and many other chatbots. Beyond those, there are other useful data sets you might want to check out. Amazon Reviews is, is a useful data set. This contains over 35 million reviews of Amazon products, including product information and ratings. And then there's the Waymo open data set. Alphabet's autonomous driving subsidiary Waymo makes a huge amount of data collected by its self-driving vehicles publicly accessible, including sensor data from cameras and LiDAR. And then there's the Apolloscape data set. This provides more autonomous driving data, this time provided by Baidu's open source Apollo platform. So as you can see, these are huge data sets that are available for anyone to use. So if you are after data for specific purposes to train your AI, to enrich your own data sources, have a look at those. I always update these, so stay tuned, subscribe to my channel, check out my podcasts and have a look at my book. Thank you.